So welcome to Quantum Online Academy. This is your Dr. Nagaraju Pendam. So now we have to tell about the BSc Electronics Paper 1 exam strategy. Maybe Telangana higher education people gave the same syllabus entire the Telangana all universities. Maybe some autonomous colleges will change little bit syllabus change, but everybody can know. So now after one two months uh, you will you will get the exams semester exams so that's why i am doing uh, so which questions ap uh, after completion of the 12th class directly you have to enter into the degree but you unable to know which one we have to study what type of questions will come so those things you don't know so that's why i am doing this video so please uh, subscribe my uh, youtube channel and share to your friends so important uh, things I have to upload in your in this channel. So please encourage me, right? So now we have to discuss about this, this is the Telangana Higher Education uh, syllabus, BS Electronics Paper One Exam Strategy by Dr. Nagaraju Pendam, right? Once you have to see here uh, what is your syllabus. In Paper One, your paper title is uh, Circuit Analysis. Which one it is? your title is circuit analysis correct so in the circuit analysis in the first unit four units you have in theory exam you will get the 80 marks uh, each and every unit contains 20 marks clear so now you have to see the syllabus from the first unit ac fundamentals is there ac fundamentals this is the first unit syllabus which one it is ac fundamentals so there once you have to see here AC fundamental the sine wave average and RMS value the J operator polar and rectangular forms of a complex numbers phasor diagram complex impedance and complex admittance. So this one part next second part is Kirchhoff's current law and voltage loss concept of constant and voltage current source and voltage sources Kirchhoff voltage law and current law application to simple circuits and consisting of the resistors and sources node voltage analysis and mesh analysis so this is the unit number one so maybe you read this entire portion from your textbook or whatever it may be your text series so which one you have to read otherwise whatever you are saw taught to you that one you read but even though how the questions will come you uh, you will get the complicated because in your intermediate you able to learn the question wise so that's why i am giving the questions once you have to see how the questions will come from the expected questions from short answer type questions you have to see explain about the j operator this is the j operator j is equal to the square root of minus 1 if you have to operate on any function it should be rotated in anti clockwise uh, 90 degrees should be rotated so such type of operator we call it as a j operator next write the polar and rectangular forms of a complex number suppose you have to take a complex number z so z in a polar form and rectangular form so you have to write it uh, so r e to the power of phi theta so this is the rectangular form this is the polar form like that uh, so you have to write it explain about the constant voltage source and constant current source so in constant voltage source the resistor how it will be in the constant current source resistors how it will be so how we have to change the constant current source to voltage source voltage source to current source such type of questions also they will ask next what about the phase diagram so how we have to represent the phase diagram this type of question also we will get these are the short questions so now expect a long questions once you have to see what is an alternating current so derive the average and rms value of the current average and rms value of the current you have to uh, you have to find it you have to uh, explain about that explain about the node voltage analysis and mesh analysis with a neat circuit diagram this is also expected long question so derive the complex impedance and admittance write the application of kirchhoff voltage law and kirchhoff current law so what is that application wheatstone bridge wheatstone bridge 
so is the application of uh, kirchhoff laws so maybe so they will ask the question like that also these are the expected questions from unit number 1 clear okay so now we will see the second unit so what is the second unit network theorems here only so these theorems can applicable in ac and applicable in dc also direct current and alternating current also this theorem can be applicable now you have to see only six theorems are there six theorems whether it may be short or long so according to their strength of the question you have to write in your competitive examination you have to write in your theory examination your uh, university examination first first you have to see state and prove the principle of superposition theorem which theorem this is the superposition theorem first state and prove the thevenin's theorem state and prove the norton's theorem state and prove the maximum power transfer theorem state and prove the reciprocity theorem and state and prove the milliman's theorem so if they will ask the theorems so state and prove whether it may be short question or long question whatever it may be sometimes they will ask the problems also suppose you have to take uh, here some problems also it will come problem based on the theorems so based on the theorems they will ask the problem side by question one theorem one problem is there side by question another problem will be there side by question another problem is there based on that theorem only you have to solve that problem so that is the thing so this is the second question second unit only six questions are there six theorems are there like that six questions like that you have to study so next you have to see unit number 3 so here only two types of circuits are there one is rl circuit another one is rc circuit right rl circuit and rc circuit these are all positive components only r and c r and l both are positive components only so now you have to see here so what is the syllabus transient response of rl and rc circuit so with the step input function step input function matlab it is a dc source which source it is dc source direct current so now you have to take a time constants of that frequency response of rc and rl circuits types of filters low pass filter and high pass filter frequency response passive differentiating circuits and passive integrating circuits are there clear so you have to take whatever it may be how the questions are coming from this once you have to check it discuss the frequency response of rl circuit so based on rl circuit whether it may be low pass filter and high pass filter you have to explain it explain the integrating circuit with the rc circuit so rc circuit using the integration you have to do time constant in rc and rl circuit suppose in rc circuit the time constant is equal to tau is equal to rc if it is uh, rl circuit uh, the time constant tau is equal to l by r right so uh, this is the time constant value so you have to define the time constant time taken to uh, take the uh, current or charge up to the 63 percentage of the maximum charge or maximum current you have to define like that so now what is the filter and explain about the low pass filter so you know in the your laboratory also you know these things so what are the long questions only three long questions are possibilities there explain about the transient response of rc circuit and rl circuit that is the thing first one so next explain about the low pass filter and high pass filter with a neat circuit diagram this one in the laboratory also is there explain about the passive differentiating and passive integrating rl and rc circuit only three possibilities are there in that unit only three questions are there if you have to read the three questions whether it may be short or whether it may be long whether it may be problem so anything they will give you have to write in your examination so next once you have to see in bsc uh, first year uh, the fourth unit it has uh, two parts one is the resonance another one is a cathode ray oscilloscope so what is the resonance in resonance two points are there once you have to see yeah, yeah, RL, RLC series and parallel resonance circuit, resonant frequency, quality factor, bandwidth and selectivity. So this is the resonance phenomenon. So now you have to see cathode ray oscilloscope. So what is the cathode ray oscilloscope? There is a cathode ray tube is there and it's working. Electron gun, focusing deflecting sensitivity. So next fluorescent screen, 
So, measurement of time period and frequency, phase and amplitude. So, this is the syllabus in cathode ray oscilloscope. Once you have to check whether it may be which type of questions will get. So, now you have to see explain about the measurement of the time period and frequency in CRO. So, in your experimental also in the first uh, familiarization CRO you have to do from there also you have to write this one. Define the resonance frequency and quality factor first part. Explain about the fluorescent screen which material we have to use as a fluorescent screen. So, what how it is works. So, like that you have to write. Next explain about the phase and amplitude in a CRO. These many questions you may get in your competitive exam in your uh, theory examination. Long questions you have to see. Here two types of questions are same. Only three questions are there. Discuss about the LCR series resonant circuit. Derive an expression for the resonant frequency, bandwidth, quality factor and the selectivity. So, then later you have to see discuss about the LCR parallel resonant circuit. Derive an expression for the resonant frequency, bandwidth, quality factor. So, next uh, only here uh, 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 in resonant frequency is different. Suppose if you have to see is whether it may be series that resonant frequency is equal to 1 by 2 phi into root LC. So, this is the LCR series resonant frequency. So, if it is a parallel resonant, uh, so that frequency is equal to 1 by 2 phi. So, uh, root uh, 1 by LC minus R square by L square. This is the resonant frequency. The rest of the formulas, quality factor, all the formulas, you will get the similar only. So, explain the working of a cathode ray oscilloscope with neat diagram. So, such type of questions you are able to get in your uh, examination. Only 3, 3 questions are there. Do not irritate. So, just you have to read at least uh, 6 or 7 questions you will get uh, more than 90 percentage of the marks. So, that is why I am coming to here. So, which books we have to refer for this? So, maybe you have to see basic electronics this book also you have to take circuit analysis book you have to take circuit and network theories you have to take pulse and digital switching waveforms book you have to take network and lines and fields john's rider you have to take network theory so this book also you have to take otherwise uh, so you have to follow this textbook so which one it is uh, unified electronics volume 1 agarwal and aurora so this book you have to refer for uh, so, making the notes or uh, to uh, write the exam pattern, right. So, now once again you have to see maybe next, next, maybe next semester, uh, for next semester means for second semester. So, we have uh, bought one app that is a quantum online academy app, which one it is? Quantum, quantum online academy quantum online academy right so this app is there this is a mobile app so you have to download from your play store right download from your play store so so in this play store you have to buy maybe you are uh, buying the test paper uh, like that is the cost will be there maybe in the next second semester onwards i have to plan the plan for that so, you have to purchase and you listen my classes. So, those classes also I will be teach according to your uh, curriculum, clear. So, now some topics I will be uploaded in YouTube. So, this quantum online YouTube channel is there, which one it is? It is a YouTube channel. So, please subscribe my channel, right? So, YouTube channel is there, please subscribe it and share to your friends. So, there also you have to listen my classes, but not all syllabus, some important, important questions. I have to make the video and will upload in YouTube channel also, okay. So, thank you. Maybe this information is useful in your examination. So, that is why I gave to you.